Hello, so for our second exercise, I will load a sound uh, into my P5 um, app and I will run it. Okay, so to, to load files, um, we need to load them into our folder structure and it's not visible by default. To make it visible, you need to uh, collapse this triangle, the arrow, and then it will show a panel, a left panel, with uh, your files. So uh, p5.js being a JS um, file uh, is inside uh, HTML file, uh, which kind of loads the, the JavaScript, and it has a certain CSS uh, style sheet um, with, with some kind of visual characteristics. Uh, so by default, we don't really enter this, um, but when we, know, we need to load files, we will. So first, I will start by renaming this exercise to exercise2. I'm going to call this sound file. Okay. Um, then what, what sound uh, will, I lo will I load? Actually, I'm going to load two sounds, two different sounds, so that we can, we can uh, see the differences between them. I use free sound a lot. Uh, so in class, I will uh, run through free sound and what kind of things you can find there. And uh, I selected, I pre-selected these sounds and I've downloaded them already uh, to, to be quicker. I downloaded them to um, my, my computer. So to download files, you need to register, you need to log in and then you can, you, you have powerful search features and then you can download the sounds. Uh, typical formats are WAV and MP3, WAV for uncompressed audio and MP3 for compressed audio. So if you use WAV files, uh, make sure they're not too long or the file size will be quite big, then it's better to convert them to MP3s or download MP3s to begin with. So I will just load those two files there. I'm going to keep the names. Also, please check the... Um, license under which you download the files. Both of these have the uh, Creative Commons attribution license. That's why I'm quite visibly um, demonstrating the names of these authors, Snapper4298 and Team Can. Also the URLs are visible so that the attribution becomes clear and I will keep the file names in the code so anyone that checks the code can see you know, where are the original files or, or who are they with the traceable. So here on this triangle next to sketch files, what I will do is uh, upload file and I will drag these two files here and uh, soon they will, they will appear uh, in um, my, my window and they will show there. Uh, this interface is a little bit clunky, so it doesn't show that the second one has been loaded but I assumed it has been so. Uh, now, to load files uh, into P5.js, let's go to the reference of the, the sound. Uh, so to load a, a sound file, you should create a preloader because we're talking about a web uh, application and a web environment. So we, we need to make sure the sound is loaded before we play it, otherwise, with sound files, they might take a while, a little bit to load, so it's good practice to, to have a preloader before it loads. Also, um, due to accessibility and kind of good practices uh, in, in, in the audio um, world in, in browsers, so kind of uh, online audio or web audio, it's good not to have sounds playing at the start by default. It kind of annoys people to have sounds playing, and it might conflict with, with the screen readers and things like that. So it's, it's better to have sounds um, that you have to, 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 to solicit some kind of interaction from the user before playing the sound. Okay. So I'll create a preloader. I'm going to say... Uh, and uh, also it's good to, to, to store the sound because it's going to be under a preloader function and then some other function for sure, either setup or draw or some... Uh, mouse interactivity, 
it's we 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 need we know we're going to use the sound uh, across multiple functions we need a global variable so i'm going to say let my sound okay for example um then we have a function preload um don't forget parentheses parentheses then curly bracket and then curly bracket and in the preload i'm going to say my sound equals load sound and then you open parentheses you open the quote mark and because this is quite a long uh, file name usually i go to the rename function not to rename but just to copy it um, and then I copy the name and I, I close the quote and let me just open the screen a little bit. So we, these, these windows are kind of uh, resizable. So semicolon, um, so we've loaded, so then we can play it. Uh, so I can say, for example, on mouse press, I can play that sound, right? So we can say function mouse pressed. Um, let me close the function first and then go back and say my sound and the function to play is simply play that's the method for playing okay so let's check if this works so when I click on the canvas the sound of uh, this sound which is a camera shutter sound plays plays back okay so far so good we could also load instead of this one we could load the other sound so i'm going to copy paste this code and i'm going to replace this string uh, you know the string of text um, i'm going to replace it with the other file name and i'm going to comment out the previous um, the previous one, and so I'm going to play now the second sound. Ten, nine, eight. So this is a countdown. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. It's a countdown sound, right? So longer. So we have a shorter sound and a longer sound. Um, so. What else can we do with sounds? We, we can do a lot. So if you go to the reference on the P5 sound file, you see all these methods. Um, you have uh, play, you can set a play mode, which is restart and sustain. We're gonna talk about that. You can pause, you can set a loop. Um, and you can set a volume, you can set a panora pan or panoramic left or right. Uh, you can set the rate, which we'll play with, which is the, um, the playback speed. You can you can check which is the ter uh, uh, current time, playback time that the sound is playing, or you can jump to a certain point in time. You can even have us create kind of a scrub fader that you can scrub through the sound file. Uh, you can get peaks to draw. You can draw the sound file in terms of of its amplitude uh, map. You can create a lot of, um, you can create cues, uh, so uh, you, you can do you can do a lot. So let's play with with a, with a play rate. Let's imagine that uh, we we want to speed up or slow down a file, and the rate goes um, theoretically it goes from my uh, to the negative number it and it will invert but that doesn't work well um, from my experience so i'll just use a range from zero to a certain number whereas zero means ex, you know slow to the point that the sound doesn't play because it's so slow and then one means normal speed two means twice the speed three means three times the speed and 0 0.5 for example would mean half the speed right so let's map for example my x mouse to um the rate and before we play it let's reset the rate so we can say my sound rate and we can map as we did in the previous exercise we can map the mouse x which goes from zero to width 
uh, we can map it from zero to, let's say, um, three times the speed. Okay. Um, so if you're one third in the canvas, that means normal speed, two thirds in will be th two times the speed and three thirds in will be three times um, the speed, right? I uh, forgot to close the map function and uh, that's that's it let's let's hear what what this is 10 so here you can really see the different sounds being triggered at a, a, a different uh, different speed, right? So the rate is the speed uh, to which we 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 pay we play, right? Um, so this is quite this is quite useful um, and and interesting. Uh, and you hear that we can overlap sounds, right? Because by clicking, we trigger the play again and again. What if we didn't want to? Um, to overlap sounds. Then we would need to set. So let's go here to the to, uh, to, to the documentation. We need to set a play loop to something else. By default, it's sustained that it will um, trigger multiple instances of the same sound. If you didn't want to, then you you have to set the the play mode to restart. So we can say um, here. On setup, for example, or on, uh, I would say uh, my sound um, play mode uh, restart. Right. So we just I'm just emulating what's in here. So now, actually, ten. 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 So now it, it doesn't overlap, right? It, it, I, I go, it goes, t -t -t -t, it stutters because it makes the sound restart. It doesn't accumulate the sounds um, anymore, right? So we have um, play mode. Um, what if we want to loop a sound, right? What if we want to loop a sound? Um, so, for example, the, the previous sound um, of, of the camera shutter, because that's shorter, so I can exemplify uh, a little bit better. So, um, I will comment out the, the play mode just to, to isolate the looping effect. So, by default, there's no loop, right? The sound plays and doesn't loop anymore. What if I wanted this sound to loop? So here I would say um, my sound, and let's go to the documentation and demonstrate that um, there is set loop, and set loop, you can set a loop to a certain Boolean, meaning true or false value, and uh, in this case, by default, it's false, so I would set loop to true. Because Boolean doesn't need a quote mark, right? This is kind of a standard uh, computing type of value. So in this case, not only, well, it, it sustains that it's not under a restart function, it's the default because I commented it out, and it's looping, so it's constantly looping. Great, so what else can we do? Of course, we could use uh, something like the set volume, like we did previously, to, to, to set the volume of the sound, so we could map again the Y to set volume, let's do that. For example, my sound dot set volume, and we can also map the mouse y 
and as we said, it's um, pre in the previous exercise, let's map it from the height uh, to be the minimum, so the, the bottom of the screen to be the minimum, and the top of the screen to be the maximum, and then 0, 1, and close the map, close the set volume function, semicolon, and uh, let's see how this, how this goes. I'm going to take away the set loop now, so that and I'm going to put back the restart mode to 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 hear better the loop the the volume. So the lower we are in the screen, the lower the volume, right? Okay, and now just to wrap this up, we could um, we could find a way to trigger one sound if uh, we click, for example, on the top of the screen and trigger the other sound if we tr we we, we uh, click, for example, on the bottom of the screen. Then the set volume wouldn't make much sense mapped to Y, so I'm going to comment it out, and then we would need to sound uh, objects, actually select sound1 and then, for example, my sound2. Then we declare two sounds and then we'd have here sound1 and sound2. Um, and then depending, um, we, we could create uh, so here my sound would be, for example, I can set sound uh, one to to loop, but to restart. So then, then the camera wouldn't wouldn't it would loop, but it wouldn't accumulate in itself upon restart because that would create too. It, it's a very small sound. It would create chaos very quickly. Chaos sometimes is good and sometimes sometimes not not so good. And the sound two would be the default, meaning not looping and accumulating. So we can create chaos, but by accumulation, but it will not loop. So it will not over over time the chaos will will subsume, will 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 stop, right? Um, so then I can create uh, just a t um, global, not global. Global is a bad term because global are, is a scope. But I can create a generic uh, my sound. And then I can say I can attribute my sound one. So my sound is the one that will actually play. And then I can say which one will play. Will it be sound one or sound two? So that could be useful, like a general placeholder for the different sounds. So you could have like twenty sounds, but then uh, the my sound will be that one that would play. And then the if clause will define uh, which of these sounds one or two would go to the kind of generic sound, which would be my sound. So let's have a, a if clause saying if, and we can say if uh, mouse x, uh, sorry, mouse y is above the middle of the screen, so is lesser than high, um, so the top of the screen, uh, top half uh, height divided by two, then uh, my sound would be equals sound, my sound, one, it will be sound one that would be controlled. Else, in this case we have else, it my sound would be my sound two, right? And then we would, um, you know, map the speed, etc. Uh, and also, actually, to to see. Uh, to see this this line, we could use the line command. So if you go here to the reference uh, P five reference, you have all the graphics that you can that you can draw. Uh, you can draw lines. You can draw rectangles, squares, triangles, circles, which is what we've been uh, drawing: ellipses, arcs, all the, all these kind of two D primitives. So let's draw a line uh, from the left of the screen, which is zero. To the middle, uh, and it's in the middle of the of, in terms of height, and then to the right of the screen, which is width, and 
also the middle in terms of y, which is high divided by 2. Then we can see a line exactly in the middle to know where we can click to get sound 1 and where we can click to, to get the sound 2, right? Um, sorry, I have an error here in my code. Um, I have a typo in height here. Sorry, height. There we go. Uh, so we have the line here. So here, I play sound one. Ten, nine. So on the top, I play this kind of camera sound, and on the bottom, I play the, um, the voice loop. I can control, now I commented out the, the volume, uh, so that um, the Y becomes just for switching between one or two, um, and the X controls the speed. The first sound uh, loops, but does not accumulate, it, it, it restarts. Whereas the second sound doesn't loop, but it accumulates, it has a default sustain. So the loop value is the standard one, which is the loop is false. And the play mode is the standard or the default one, which is uh, sustain, so it, it accumulates. And uh, this is it in terms of an example, how we can play back sounds and some examples of some tricks or some, of some operations we can do um, with, with uh, the playback of that sound file.